Josie's on a vacation far away. Welcome to the Daily Decrypt, in currency competition we trust. I am your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by Crypto Compare. What market share is there to be had by catering a crypto network to a specific demographic of people, like gamers? Jeremiah Nickel is the marketing manager for a cryptocurrency called Hyper, a two-year-old network with roughly a 100,000 US dollar market cap. He's here to tell us more. It does have kind of a niche. It's not, we're not trying to be Bitcoin. We're not trying to be Ethereum or anything like that. It's probably a fork of Bitcoin. I'm not technical enough to tell you. All I know is it's proof of stake. There's probably about a hundred nodes out there. So I was reading on the website, it says something like, um, Hyper is living on like some game servers or something. And now maybe it's because uh, I have always failed every time I've ever tried to like download the software for an MMO game. Like I, I downloaded like Counter-Strike Go, for example, and like tried to play it and just couldn't get it figured out on my computer. Um, and, and I see in Hyper's marketing materials that it's like, hey, like use Hyper on Counter-Strike Go. Like, how does that work? Well, you would go to, there's a website called cashandcarry.info that has several game servers set up and, and the, uh, the, the Hyper Crypto website should be redirecting you to some of those servers and within the game, uh, you would be plugging in the data for the IP addresses for those servers to connect to the specific servers that are hosting the Hyper enabled gaming platform. Does that make sense? So you're not just playing, uh, you know, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and it's working with Hyper because that hasn't been made yet, right? So that would be nice for Hyper to be a, like, a, for instance, an EA Sports coin that would be used. But right now it's just uh, private servers that are hosting the games and the competitions. And there's a list of active servers at, at uh, the Hyper Crypto dot com website as well as cash and carry dot info okay so then the way it works is that somebody uh to join a server for the for these mmo games in general mm -hmm. people pay to join those servers like to offset the server's costs is that right well some of them i don't i don't know i don't know the answer to that one specifically because my i'm a fan of what the coin's trying to do but i don't have time yep. to game I'm a dad of four and uh -huh. a full-time DJ and a music teacher and everything else. I, uh -huh. I like the idea of all those things. I don't have the, I don't have the right uh, answer for that. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have to pay anything. They, they award uh, um, hyper for killing bots in the game. So if you're on oh, their okay. server, you can earn hyper just by playing. And Got then from it. time to time, they'll do competitions where, you know, for CSGO, it's terrorists versus counter terrorists. And mm -hmm. then, you know, there'll be a, a pool of a hundred or a thousand hyper for the winner. So those, those competitions are going to become more prevalent as time goes on. Um, I will say the other thing that's kind of neat is not just tied to the, the hyper crypto servers, but there's actually a hyper tip bot that's mm -hmm. available for Twitch streamers. So this is kind of a unique concept. There's a few other coins to do this. Well, basically as a Twitch streamer, you would invite the hyper bot to be in your chat. So then people can donate hyper to your Twitch stream or they okay. can, they can bet like micro betting, which I think is going to be a really neat thing for us. One thing, and not to go too off subject from your original question, but one thing I would love to see hyper do is start sponsoring the gaming uh, Twitch streams to where, you know, hyper is kind of like the currency, of the streamers you know and so it's a way it's a way for us to sponsor uh you know teams as they go to competition you know eventually um to the big time so it's kind of like hey this guy endorses hyper or whatever so mm -hmm. this team but it makes it it's kind of a neat way to share hyper in the twitch uh ecosystem with and it's all micro it's all micro transactional stuff uh -huh. which is fun you know, this is kind of reminding me of uh, the marketing strategy I've seen from Dogecoin uh, users over the past couple of years, because um, it's basically where like people who hold uh, a lot of the crypto um, are, are, are just keen to invite others into their community, basically. And so they'll just give lots of giveaways. 
Um, like in Do you know, Dogecoin is famous for people just like tipping each other micro tips all of the time. Right. Yeah. And like that's what you're describing with this whole game servers thing. It's like, hey, if you come play Counter Strike Go on this server, we will tip you out in hyper based on your number of kills. That's right. And and viewers, uh, here's the other thing: when the when the hyper crypto Twitch stream is live, viewers can go in and pick whether they want to bet on the terrorist team or the counter terrorist team for CS:GO, and okay, you can we'll you can actually bet with just a small command in the chat field hey i want to bet 50 milli hyper which is you know a small very very insignificant amount of money mm -hmm. to uh you know for now anyway to the terrorist team that they're going to beat the counter terrorist as long as there is a count a bet that counters yours mm -hmm. when the match is done the payouts are automatic and so you have a wallet address that sits in the the, the hyper tip bot Mm -hmm. on Twitch and then you can withdraw that if you want um, or you could just donate directly to the streamers um, or you could donate to the server that's hosting the game I mean there's there's you're right about the do kind of that doge effect in fact something that we're really happy to announce literally 20 minutes before we started talking John Fitch has accepted our bounty and okay, so now who's John Fitch and okay. what's the bounty for? John Fitch is a mixed martial artist, uh, formerly of the UFC. And uh, I, he has actually been uh, sponsored by Nautilus Coin okay. in, in the past. And so I, I like MMA. I follow it a little bit. And, I, and I've, I've known John Fitch. I've known his name for a long time. I was like, man, what are the odds we could get John Fitch? Because he's now in the World Series of Fighting. Mm -hmm. And so you're talking about you know, the way people in a community can rally around somebody. Well, we're also rallying around one of his causes, which is to get the Muhammad Ali Act for MMA fighters, basically giving MMA fighters the same rights as boxers. And so what we did about a month ago is we reached out to John Fitch and I reached out to the community over one of my video updates and told the community, hey, let's try to get John Fitch sponsored. And then John Fitch re responded back his management team was like well we could cross promote something we're doing in the meantime because they weren't sure they were going to accept the bounty right away and, and we okay. were sure and when you say different. sponsor you mean like he's going to like wear the word like hyper like on the yes. bottom of his shorts yes okay. so it'll say it'll say hyper and we'll have the dollar sign it'll say hyper and it'll say hypercrypto.com it'll be on his shorts and it'll be on a, a billboard or a banner of some kind might even make it onto t-shirts Mm -hmm. And so we we came up with the logo. I had a friend of mine help me out with the logo. We just debuted the logo. That's what I tweeted out. I think you may have seen it. John Fitz liked it. His management team liked it. And uh, we raised over 50,000 hyper and the fights on April 2nd in Las Vegas for the World Series of Fighting uh, Welterweight uh, Belt. I believe it's the Welterweight uh, Belt. Uh, it's a it's it's right it's either the main event or right be before oh, the main event okay. so it's and when you say bounty um is it as simple as um you you've offered him hyper he's accepted and so there will be like the logo placement on the shorts or is there something else he has to do to get the bounty i'm just a little bit confused by the word bounty okay so no it, yes he will just wear the logo got it okay yep. 50, wow 000. hyper was kind of a number that he thought might work and we thought might work and then in the interim because it's 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 kind of like at the time we started this he didn't even have his fight card announced who he was going to fight then the fight card changed to another contestant and they weren't even sure of the venue yet so we had kind of a gentleman's agreement early on listen we will talk about your cause for mma fighters in the meantime if you could help us out with our cause for spreading the word mm -hmm. around hyper that was it and the goal was fifty thousand hyper and we had some generous donors come forward and within the last two weeks we got the fifty thousand mm -hmm. and because Is of the proof of, dollars approximately between one thousand and one thousand five hundred uh-huh so oh, it's wow. not it's not a large sum of money uh but he's oh, I think it is. <laughs> well i mean in the, in the crypto world it's it, it could be a lot of money can it but in some ways, you know, in the fight world, it's a very generous acceptance for, for him okay. to take on a currency that, as we all know, crypto moves around quite a bit in price. And so, right. you know, it, really, 
he's he's showing to us that he's a, he's a believer in crypto in general. He took on the he took on the payout from Nautilus Coin once upon a time. Now he's doing, uh, mm -hmm. and so our community, you know, our community kind of feels very strongly about it. And, and, and all of us guys are into other currencies as well. You know, I mean, this is this is just kind of a neat little niche with with the gaming world that you know it's. I think it's it's fun. Best part is. It's two years old. It'll be two years old in about a month. And mm -hmm. that's that's a long time in crypto land for a coin to have lasted that long. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it just is. I mean, let's just face it. And so there's, it's kind of fun to celebrate uh, the two year birthday coming up and, yeah. and okay. uh, we got an let's active talk, community. Let's talk about uh, other games that have hyper servers. Uh, so there are Counter-Strike Go servers where people can go and play and get tipped in hyper uh, based on kills. What other games also have these servers? I'm going to go to cashandcarry.info, and I can tell you. Battlefield 3, uh, Battlefield 4, Team Fortress 2, Insurgency, Fistful of Frags, Left for Dead 2, Nuclear Dawn, Pirates, Vikings, and Knights, Day of Defeat. Uh, there's a World of Warcraft server, it looks like, a Battlefield 4 server. There's also a, and, and we, I mean, I think the community likes to have those games around because they're already fully developed and, you know, it's a lot of fun. But you, we're also into kind of the small guy, too, the indie developers, the the snake game faucets and uh, the the uh, space-based MMO that's, a, you know, basically a browser-based game. There's so I could play those without downloading anything? I could play the snake game faucet just through the web? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then the Knights of Valeria is actually, um, I'm going to look it up real quick. Pardon me. I can't type and chew gum and talk. Yeah, Dragon Knights of uh, Valeria is um, making sure I got the right one. Yeah, it's crypto database on the Bitcoin announcement page. It's uh, crypto database.net will get you there. Dragon Knights of Valeria is a pretty neat little um, strategy game as well. I mean, it's an indie developed game. There's there's also another company, Frost Studios, is coming out with a battle arena uh, car crash type of game, right? So you you drive a tank around in a battle arena with, you know, missiles and guns and everything. You try to blow people up. That's also going to be able to have some side bets and things going on. That actually rolls out in November. So there's, there's a few games that are incorporating Hyper as well as a couple other coins. Excuse me. Okay. I'm sure that are going to well, uh, be out soon. Okay. Well, that just leads me to one final question then, which is, okay, so if I or someone else were to go and acquire some hyper for myself from killing people in games, <laughs> um, is, is there anywhere that hyper is traded or spendable? Yep. It's at uh, Bittrex. I hope I said that right. Bittrex.com is the you know exchange. And then it's on Shapeshift. You can use it on Shapeshift. It's already incorporated, uh, incorporated and ready to roll. There's also a couple other ways that Hyper could be traded, you know, for other monetary value sets and whatnot. So Hyper's, you know, it's a plug, it's a plug and play coin for Shapeshift. That's a pretty big deal. I mean, to be included in that in that list, and uh, you know that that says something. And the best part is, is you know, wallet to wallet transactions. It confirms very fast. Um, the uh, the wallets are. I think 5% proof of stake monthly compounding for something like five years and then it'll go down to 2%. So it's very easy to, uh, it's very easy to get started. Very easy to buy at bittrex.com or you can just shape shift it and be done. I mean, yeah, it's easy. And there's a few merchants out there that accept it. It's accepted through coinpayments.net. So that's a payments processor. So you can use hyper to purchase things online that you would at any other coin. It's very fluid. Right on. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Jeremiah. And uh, yeah, talk to you later. All right. Thank you. We'll see. Appreciate it. Today's episode is brought to you by Crypto Compare, a social site where users rap about what's what in mining hardware, mining contracts, currency exchanges, and wallets. Crypto Compare also offers charts that let you compare the trade volume, the price movements, and even the social rankings of all of the top cryptos. It's all free for you at CryptoCompare.com. And have a good old day, why don't you? Or, if not, at least have some ice cream, because ice cream makes everything better.
The main difference that I believe cryptocurrency brings to the table is technological superiority in how easily exchangeable cryptocurrencies are for one another. It makes them compete harder.